Come on. this be? How foolish. I decline. say you are unforgivable yes You have my thanks. Turn home. Ah, you're back.
Now listen up. Make sure your clothes up. Wow. What are your thoughts? <laughs> All right. Yep. Pretty bad, huh? <laughs> well, shall we begin? Ooh, we can do this. Now everyone. Now everyone. Hey, you. Okay, class, let's get started. Nice. 
Uh, hey. Excuse me? Shall we go? Congrats on surviving midterms. <sighs> I think I'm screwed for real this time. I couldn't concentrate at all. Gathering everyone's opinions and immediately acting upon them in order to make that natural course of action a reality. Uh, again? It's so damn loud! More importantly, what's this you want to talk about? You said that something was on your mind before, but were you able to figure out what it was? The medjet that I banned wasn't the real one. Huh? Aren't you the real one, though? Oh, uh... The guy who called himself Medjet after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjed. And that means... A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medjed? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjed member. So someone used the Medjed name to provoke the Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? 
It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. Wait a moment. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? Perhaps they used the Medjed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What? That makes no sense! I actually thought the same as Makoto. Why is that? Know how I just said that code is like fingerprints? I found those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. For real? For summer vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings. Particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. So then, the one who provoked the group and the one who tampered with the site are the same person? I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjed's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up... It would all make sense. So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? No way! This is all hypothetical. We lack any hard evidence. But if all your deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. I mean, we're talking both the rankings and Medjed. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up, then, what kind of guy did we make an enemy of? There's no point in getting anxious over speculation. Regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap, even at this very moment? Yeah, this doesn't mean that we've lost yet. Even if this is the actions of a meticulous enemy, we'll just have to get back at them. We need to find clues, no matter what. Me? I was told you recommended this reassignment yourself, sir. Why would you choose someone as inexperienced as myself? When the case of the Shujin Principle was ruled a suicide, you thought to reopen it. And you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. I'm honored, sir. The Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. Expectations are exceedingly high for us public prosecutors, as we are the executors of justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. I'd like you to oversee this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. We'll have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. I don't wish to apply extra pressure on you, but I assume your odds of success are high. Naturally, failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Do you understand? Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. That is all, then. I expect good results from you. I'm home. Hi, sis. Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's okay. How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful, though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. 
It's all over for me if I can't win this. Still, if you were to collapse from exhaustion... This is my one chance to get a promotion. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. It will all be over soon. What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves myself. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern. Oh my god. Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves, and on Shujin Academy in particular. <sighs> this is bad. I need to let everyone know. Damned Phantom Thieves. Hey. Okay, quiet down. Well then, next up is Takamaki-san, and you two will go together. Huh? Why together? Why? They'll probably have one of you wait outside. That's how they've been doing it so far. Uh, oh yeah, right. Those are the instructions the detectives gave us. Just don't say more than is necessary, and try and get it over with quick. Take a seat. We're sorry to take your time. This will be over quick. Let's see. Ah yes, you're the one currently under probation. 
It says here you had a dispute with Mr. Kamishida. You're more hot-blooded than you look. You spend time with quite an interesting group. Yusuke Kitagawa and Haru Okumura? The more friends, the better, right? I'm sorry to have taken your time. You're free to go now. Oh, I almost forgot. There's just one more thing I have to ask you. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are associated with this school? Don't worry. We're here to keep all of you safe, okay? Thank you for your time. Your responses will serve as great reference material. Takamaki-san is next. Could you ask her to come in? I got so nervous, I almost stuttered a few times. I thought I was used to police questioning by now, too. Seems we were all asked the same questions. That's how they get you. They do that on purpose, then wait for someone to slip up. I hope you didn't. It was probably fine. Oh, I would have been done for if they saw how sweaty my hands were, though. To think my name would come up as well. Sounds like we can't take the police lightly, either. Hey, didn't you think that detective guy was scary? Especially those eyes. It was like they were smiling, but not. I'm sorry for all of this. It's because of my sister. That's not true, Mako-chan. It's not as though I hadn't predicted this would happen. But now that it's become reality, I'm unsure of what to do. We need to make sure we don't draw suspicion and work to clear our names. Right? Right. It ain't your fault, Makoto. I'm gonna try to see how far along this investigation really is. I'm worried about the police, too, but as of now, anyone in this city could be a mole. They were so popular, too. Haru, can I ask you to search your father's belongings for clues about a possible culprit? I... I know it may be tough on you. No, it's okay. Now isn't the time for me to look away. As for everyone else, you need to be cautious of how you spend your time at school. So, I've decided to have you three second years join me on the school festival executive committee. Why? It will allow us to gather without drawing suspicion. Plus, trying to blend in will only do the opposite. Ah, uh, fine. I agree. The more time I have to kill, the more time I'll spend worrying about all this stuff. No matter what happens, I don't want to regret my decisions. Don't jinx it! It would be no surprise if they came directly to our homes for questioning. They showed up at your school after all. I should remain cautious. For now, the best option is to stay on the defensive. But we won't make progress at this rate. Let's try and figure out who the real culprit is somehow, okay? Of course. <laughs> Another suggestion. Call for the arrest of the Phantom Thieves, then mobilize the police. The rest will go as you mentioned. <laughs> Still, I'm truly amazed at the atrocious methods you come up with. What's going on?
Do you know this one? This is it. Correct! We don't have time to be doing crap like this. You don't need to keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? Goro Akechi. This one too, Akechi. They're mostly the same over here as well. Everyone's so eloquent when they can be anonymous. It's like they never accepted us to begin with. It would be nice if you did some work too, Ryuji-kun. You came to help us count these, right? Come on, leader. Can you tell him too? We're gathering information too. You know, like uh, online and stuff. I guess that's one way of saying it. Whoa, look here. This ain't good. Criminal profiling? The acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. And their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Okumura was just a warm-up? Uh, so now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. God, this is so effing stupid! Damn it! We have the results. First place is Goro Akechi. What? Akechi? What are you so surprised for? We've been mentioning him this whole time! Seriously? Not some singer or an idol? It's because of us that his popularity has skyrocketed. We're the ones counting the results. Can't we just make him up? We don't have to get him. People will figure that out. He won by a landslide. I knew people would vote for him, but this is way more votes than I was expecting. It would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. I'd like a little more time to think about who to ask. That reminds me. How was Futaba-chan doing? She seemed like she was looking into something on her own. Has she told you anything? It's not that I don't trust her, but... Even one clue would work wonders for us. We should let her continue with her own investigation. I hope she finds something. Hey. In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary suspects, Goro Akechi had this to say. Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. W what Did I hear you correctly? But Akechi-san, you were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves. Were you not? This doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. After this conference, Akechi-san announced he will be limiting his media appearances and... I wonder why the sudden change?
What are you staring at your phone like that for? Oh, are you going through a breakup? <laughs> Whoa, no need to deny it so seriously. It was just a joke. By the way, you haven't been causing any trouble, have you? I heard the police showed up at your school. As long as you're not getting involved. <sighs> well, fine. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking a Kechikun. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous, but without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network, and I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite Akechi-kun? Okay, then. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally, rather than simply a source of information. Hold on. How are we even going to get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. We have all the data from the PC of a public prosecutor. Finding his phone number was a no-brainer. Damn, you're real impressive. But then, wouldn't he wonder how we acquired his number? I'll just say my sister had it. That isn't even technically a lie. Can you send me the number, Futaba? I'll contact him right away. Gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec, didn't he say he wasn't gonna do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we gonna do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. 
We're counting on you, Makoto. Okay, class, let's get started. I need an answer. That's correct. Welcome home. You're back awfully late. How has business been for you lately? <laughs> Take a look around. Is the Nijima lady doing well? Unfortunately, we haven't seen each other lately. We had a difference of opinion. What are your thoughts, Representative Shido? It doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking, and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. 
rampant political scandals. Thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. I'm not worried or anything. You're just blocking the store entrance. That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Don't you think, boss? Sorry, wasn't listening. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. If these people attack others with no remorse, why would they make a teacher and an artist apologize? Could a murder truly have been enacted by the same group? If this Akumara incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only changed the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. <laughs> I knew there was something special about you, ever since the first time we met. I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. All right. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy, and... Ah, uh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. I should write something. <laughs> 